Can you tell how much volume we got on there? No, but that's good. We're recording now. Yeah, okay, know. it's January 4th, 2012, and I'm taking uh, an oral history from John Mills. Uh, and Dad, let's go back to your family again and talk about your dad. What do you remember about your dad? What did he do? He worked for the Illinois Central Railroad for many years and <clears throat> he got hurt and he had to leave the job because he couldn't do it no more. Mm -hmm. So they replaced him and, and taking charge of the laundry. They put him in had, charge of the laundry? Because we were, we had our own hospital too. Oh, the Illinois Central Railroad had their own hospital? In Paducah, Kentucky. In Paducah. Yeah. And they, um, is that where your love of uh, trains and railroads? Being around, being around a, a lot of the trains, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And did your dad live with any of your brothers? He lived with, uh, he, when they, me and Freddie, and Mary, my twin sister in the orphanage, then the other, he took care of the rest of them. Okay, so he, he lived with the older boys. Older boys. Right. Four of them. Ben, ben, ben his name was Benedict Other. Benedict Oth Other. Other. <laughs> Quite a name. Joseph Utley. And Joseph? Utley. Utley. And, and and Rudy Ru Rudy Frederick Rudy Frederick yeah okay and and then you Fred and Mary were in the orphanage yeah okay now um, did you stay in touch with your dad after you left oh yeah I was closer by then mm -hmm. he was only in Paducah which is, was only. 25 miles from where I was working. Okay. On the farm. On the farm. We saw him uh -huh. quite a bit. He'd come there for visit, uh -huh. to come there for dinner on Sunday. Oh, he'd come to the orphanage for dinner? No, he'd come to Aunt Nanny. That's who, oh, Aunt was, Nanny's. Aunt Nanny was the... Uh-huh. She had the same amount of, of uh, boys that uh, my dad had. Uh-huh. She had five, five boys and one girl. And what happened to your dad that he was... Injured, so he couldn't work on the train anymore. I never know what what the injury was, but I, I know they they end up putting him in the laundry, uh -huh. something that he could do, uh -huh. still have a job. Is this where you learned to fold clothes? No, I never learned to fold no clothes. I didn't work. I wasn't allowed to go in the laundry. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no. Now, okay. Um, what do you remember most about your dad? Well, he he was uh, he, he wasn't that great of a dad, uh -huh. but he had so many kids that he just couldn't couldn't concentrate on what he was doing for the kids. He had to keep them going until uh -huh. they grew of age to get a job and uh -huh. be on their own. Did, <laughs> do you think he missed his his wife? Do you think that? Well, I, I, I never know what, what the uh -huh. relationship was, you know. How, yeah. how, right. Yeah, but he certainly had a nice looking little lady because she, she's she a beautiful, was beautiful woman. She uh -huh. looks just like Cynthia. She looks like Cynthia. Then she was beautiful. Yeah. And um, what, was, what was Dad's name? What was your father's name? Mary Edward Mills. Mary Edward. No, Mary now, Edward. where did he get the name Mary from? I don't know where he got it, but a lot of people back in them days were, were Marys. Uh huh. Even boys. Boys, yeah. Uh huh. But he called himself Ed. Edward. Ed. 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 Okay. See, we had Naomi's father was Ed. My father's Ed. So many Eds. In the family. Yeah, it was a common name. Maybe it came from. Uh, um, British nobility. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. um, so, and what was your mother's name? Mary Cornelius Bowles. 
U-W-L-E-S. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about your brothers. Now, uh, did you have any brothers uh, continue to stay in Kentucky? To continue to stay? Oh, yeah, they stayed, they stayed in Kentucky until they moved away to go to this big city and get a job in the... In the mm -hmm. Like, one worked in, at B.F. Goodrich for 49 years. Which one was that? Uh, uh, that was uh, Ben. Ben. Did you remain close to Ben? Yeah, uh, he and his wife uh -huh. were, were very good to me, and, and they kept me at their house when they couldn't even afford to feed themselves. Oh, okay. So I found a, uh -huh. finally got on my own. Uh-huh. Oh, and he was in that roosting post, you know, where right. they, they all uh -huh. came when they was hard up. Well, that's good, but because without a... He took over Dad's place. Yeah. And when did your dad pass? He passed uh, the day before uh, Michael was born. That was our first child. He passed before Michael the, was with born. With Billy, yeah. That was 1948. 48. 48. Uh-huh. And who told you about that? Well, well, my brothers were all there, uh -huh. and I was right there too in Paducah. Uh huh. I wasn't in Michigan at the time. Right. Well, I was too because yeah. one was having a baby. Right, there. right, right. So who t who called you? Who told you about? My oldest brother. Okay. So at that time, <coughs> there was some communication. Some mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the only time at the funeral. And. Um, <coughs> Sorry, you have to tape that. Tape the cough. You can knock it off. Can you? What happened? Oh, we were doing so good. Okay, let's continue. So your other brothers, Joseph, what happened with Joseph? Joseph, he went to, went to the big city and was a, worked in the hotels out in Chicago. In Chicago. And when was the first time you were in contact with Joseph after he was gone for a long time? How many years was it that went by? Well, he was... He was a, uh, he was around. He wasn't that far away, really, but he just never bothered to uh -huh. look. Maybe he didn't know where I was, and I didn't know where he was. Uh -huh. So we just let it go until we, Neoma took care of that. Mm -hmm. How left. long had it been since you'd been in touch with him? It hadn't been. Uh, it had been a long time because he he was the one that stayed in Chicago, and he right. He got he married a woman there and stayed there. He never had no children. Uh huh. I been, heard it was thirty five years. It was thirty five years from time I saw him until uh -huh. I saw him again. Uh huh. Wow, well, that's a long time. Yeah, What'd you long... say the first time you saw him? Well, that's, what that? What can you say? Uh -huh. Where you been all my life? <laughs> Where you been all my life? Now, what about Rudy? Rudy, well, he was a firecracker to punch. He was. Yeah, he liked to party. He liked to snort once or snort it too once in a uh -huh, while. Uh huh. Have a few drinks. Yeah. And he lived in where? He was in the navy. In the navy. So was Ben. So was Vernon. Uh huh. And Joe was a cook on a submarine. Is that right? Yeah. So everybody was in the service except you. Except me. Mm-hmm. Um, did Rudy, where did Rudy go? Rudy uh, was in the Navy, and, and when the war broke out, he, he had to go back in the Navy. Uh-huh. Okay. And and what about Fred? Freddie was, was the only one that was in the Army. He was in the Army. And uh, he was there 14 days till he got killed. And where was he killed? He was killed in France. Oh, they were lo loading bombs on a B-24. One dropped off and exploded. And who told you about that? Uh, I just heard about it, you know. Uh -huh. Through the like family? It was in important to the yeah. news. Yeah. What's going on in the World War II. Mm -hmm. 
And he, and he just, he lasted 14 days over there, that's all. Wow. And that was where? What country? France. In France. Is he buried in France? He's buried in France. Where, I don't know. Uh-huh. I never saw anything of his grave site or anything. Uh-huh. But there's a big uh, grave site over there for Americans that was killed in France. Right. Do you know what city, by any chance? No, I don't know the city. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. uh-huh. So, Freddie was the only one that didn't make it back. Didn't make it back. Mm-hmm. Vernon was the, was the big hero. Uh-huh. He was tied up to the Arizona when they bombed it. In, per, in, in, in Pearl in Harbor? Pearl Harbor. Uh-huh. And they was doing a repair job on the boat when the, they started bombing them. Uh-huh. And they had to untie and get out of there. Otherwise, they'd have been killed. Bodies were flying all over the place. Uh-huh. And this was December 7th, 1941. 1941. One, yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy. So you had brothers uh, in the Pacific. Pacific. Brothers in France. France. And, and bro- where was and the submarine? That was outside of Japan. Outside of so Japan you had a Harbor. Bro- sitting oh. on the bottom, having breakfast, watching the Japs. Watching the Japs. <laughs> Well, Dad, that is really interesting. I never knew that. Yeah. Okay, and so it was Billy who organized. Billy, my dear wife, organized, got us all together for the first time uh-huh. in our life. And where'd you meet? In Florida. In Florida. In, uh, I forget what the name of the, the, the city down there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I didn't know about it, Kate, when you remember it now. But uh-huh. anyway, it was in South Florida. Okay. Well, that's that's a fantastic story, Dad. Yeah. I, that's the first time I ever heard it. Oh yeah, Vernon and uh, I mean uh, Ben. He was he was released after a while because he was older than the rest of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. But they all both lied about their age when they went in, so they could get in the navy. So they went in really early. Yeah, they went in early. How how old were they? Seventeen. I, I I think it was more like eighteen. Okay. Not even that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and and when you were living in in Detroit, uh, on Ashland, I want to go back to Ashland. Um, what did the uh, apartment look like that you lived in? Regular apartment, two stories. That's all. Two stories. That's all. And, and, and you lived, lived in, in the, the basement, basement of that yeah. apartment because uh-huh. I took care of the furnace. And the steps, clean the steps, and uh-huh. and uh, take, take take the ashes out of the furnace and stuff. Uh huh. They give and it to you for my free. Rent. Yeah, that took care of my rent. Well, that was a big help. Oh yeah, it was when you uh-huh. just start out. Yeah. Do you remember bringing home uh, rubber for your children to play with? No. Well, Nothing. I do. Hmm? I remember you bringing me home pieces of rubber that I played with as toys. Did you? Yeah. In the basement. Uh, no, I don't remember bringing it. What kind of what rubber? Just it was a, raw rubber, I think. Raw rubber? Mm-hmm. With latex, they call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, did you remember that Mr. Schmidt built decoys? Yes, I did. I knew uh-huh. he built them, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But apparently my impression of him is different than yours. Well, I suppose so. He, he, we, what we just disliked was his hands would be filthy and he'd be feeding his wife. Uh-huh. A bite of banana with the with the, with the banana in his hand, you know, <laughs> and that didn't look too appetizing. So. No, no. But um, he, he's doing the best he could. Yeah. Um, did you go see movies for entertainment back then? Oh yeah, we used to go to the movies on Saturday. And did you go to the old theaters? Old and, theaters where they showed the cartoons and uh huh, and the and war the, films and the show and the, and the, they showed you a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. Do you recall a favorite movie that you saw? Oh, yeah. It would be Tom Nix or it would be Roy Rogers. And was he a cowboy? Cowboy, Uh-huh. Yeah. How about people like uh, John Wayne? I John, guess that was for his time. Before his time. So who were the big stars uh, that that you list, that you were interested in seeing at the movies? Well, I just like cowboys and Indian shows. That's what uh-huh. that's, that's what most kids liked them. They uh-huh. that's what they saw mostly. What did it cost to go to the movie? 
Ten cents. Ten cents. <laughs> Double feature. Double feature. Ten cents. Well, thanks, Dad. That was great. Okay. All right. This is January the 4th, 2012, and uh, we're continuing our conversation with uh, Jack Mills. Dad, let's go back to your to your family again and hear some something about your dad. Uh, tell us about your dad, where he worked, where he lived. Um, tell us about him. He, he had some people that he, he lived after his my, his wife died and his kids were put were best they could you know taken mm -hmm. care of. Mm-hmm. And then he he met this family and he 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 stayed at their house then. Uh huh. Paid and, paid rent there. Right. And who did he work for? He worked for the the railroad. Illinois Central. Illinois Central. Okay. And what did he do for Illinois Central? He 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 ran their laundry. Ran the laundry. They had their own uh, hospital. Hospital. So they needed the laundry of their own. Mm -hmm. so they, and they figured light work was well, all he could do anymore because of his injury. And how did he injure himself? I don't really know. I never did find out. Uh-huh. Well, uh -huh. yeah, I, I know he, he it didn't kill him, but he, he died from, uh, from uh, he stumped his toe at night and, and he got an infection and gangrene to the neck. Uh -huh. That's what killed him. Uh huh. And uh, what kind of work did he do when he was working on the trains? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. I, I wasn't allowed in the roundhouse where they keep the trains. Uh huh. Okay. They call it a run house? Round house where they pull, round house. pull the big engines off of the track. And, mm -hmm. and if they want to work on them, they just push a button and move around to them. I see. All right. So and. They work. Mm -hmm. Did you see much of him uh, at that time? Not really. He, like I said, he'd come around on Sunday, and and, and, mm -hmm. and then he's that's for his that's that was his brother's wife, mm -hmm. and and they'd get together for Sunday, and the mm -hmm. whole family would have dinner. Mm -hmm. And what did you have for Sunday dinners? Biscuits. Biscuits. Uh huh. Greens of all kinds. Strawberries. Uh -huh. Strawberries would be in them. Mm hmm. We were gathering it all out of the garden as fast as it. Butter beans and all that. Great. And what was your dad's name? Mary Edward Mills. Mary Edward Mills. Was it a common practice? I name them back in them days, Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a Catholic uh, Not really. No. Thing? Okay. But what did they call him? Ed. Ed. Um, and what was your mother's name? Cornelius. Mary Cornelius Bowles. Mary Cornelius Bowles. So your father... Kept some of the boys with him, right? And he kept the four oldest ones. Uh huh. And then you and Fred were the ones, that, and Mary. Mary were in the army, so he had Ben, Vernon, Joe, and Rudy. Okay. And how long was it uh, until the boys moved away? Well, it wasn't too long because uh, I, they, I know they. My mother died, I think, in 1918, mm -hmm. and they were in service with it at that time. So it, it, it wasn't too long before he passed away. Uh huh. So your mother died of the of the influenza. In, in 1918. Mm hmm. And your father passed in. I don't know if it was before. Oh yeah. It, she died way before he did. Yeah. Uh, he, I think he died in 1948, just before Michael was born. 
That was my dad, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So tell me about uh, Joseph. Uh, uh, he worked in a, he was a hotel man. He worked in all the hotels in Chicago in the Loop. Uh-huh. So he kept himself busy. Right. Did you ever hear from him? Never heard from him. Never heard from none, any of them. Mm-hmm. I was sort of a, the runt in the family, so to speak. Mm-hmm. They didn't think I was important. They didn't think you were important. No. But I ended up having more than they did. Really? Do you consider yourself the most successful of your yeah, brothers? I do. Mm-hmm. Only Vern and Ben got the most action because... He was always with somebody who was down and out. That's where they came. Mm-hmm. For a handout and stay a while. Right. They he stayed was, with Ben. And yeah. where did Ben live? He lived in Akron, Ohio. Uh-huh. Who did he work for? He worked for B.F. Goodrich. Okay. So Ben was married to... Josephine. Josephine, yeah. And they sort of took care of the, yeah, the families. Great, yeah. Great couple. Mm-hmm. And uh, what about Vernon? Well, while Vernon was in the, in the service, his wife died. He married a Hawaiian girl. He did. Yeah. Uh huh. He was in the Pacific Theater. Yeah, he was in the, and he was in Pearl Harbor when they bombed it. But uh, just uh, just a minute. <clears throat> so well, while he was while he was in service, she died, and he, he, they wouldn't let him go mm-hmm. home. To, this one. So okay. he had to pass it up. This one off. So he had one daughter by by this gal. Okay. And, 